Facebook Live. Welcome. I'm working on giving us a title here um, because my previous attempt was failed. There we go. Your live description has been updated. Yay! Welcome to the Facebook Live, everybody. It's Dr. AJ Austin. I am founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC. I apologize in advance if you hear noise in the background. That's just laundry day here in the Austin household. And we're almost done. So I didn't want to stop the dryer just to hit record. I got to multitask. Y'all know how it is. So tonight we're talking about coaching before counseling because I get a lot of concerns from those of you who are in the coaching or you want to be in the coaching space. You also want to be in the counseling space. You really don't know which to choose. And you're like, Dr. AJ, which one should I choose first? And so hence the topic of tonight's title. I've been doing a little digging, a little research, and I'm going to recap on a previous slide that I did just a few short days ago where we talked about the benefits of coaching versus counseling. Hello, LD Barnes. I must have thought you up. I was reading a comment that you made on one of our lives from a while ago. And I was like, I wonder where she is and how she's doing. I hadn't seen her pop on in a while. So welcome. I manifested you on tonight. How are you, girl? So again, I'm Dr. AJ Austin, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC, where I train black women of faith to become certified life coaches online in one day. We have Clubhouse going in the background. We have our Future Black Life Coaches Facebook group going. Hey, y'all. Hey. And we're live on my Facebook page on the main profile, which I have been told by uh, the Facebook team that they come and check out. So sometimes they watch my lives. Hey, Facebook. So hopefully y'all will watch this one because I was just telling them how I use live to talk to you guys. And it's really, really cool because some of you are not here in the Atlanta area with me. Um, some of you were not blessed with the opportunity that Coach Lillian Young had where she came live here in Atlanta to train with me for one day to get her live coach certification with me. And so I use this as a platform to connect with those of you who do want to become Life coaches, you're not just bouncing around, Googling, researching, trying to get an earful of free nuggets, free information, dig for gold, see what you can get. You're actually considering taking that next step. And so my job here when I show up multiple times throughout the week to help bring education to this space is to give you what you need to make that next step decision. Make sure you're making an educated decision. So I titled the topic of this live as coaching before counseling, because I personally know for sure that coaching is a quicker route and a cheaper route than counseling. Now, I'm not saying don't become a counselor. If your heart is in counseling and you maybe started out like me, I at Clark Atlanta University just knew I was going to be a psychologist. So I became a psychology major. And then I realized there were other ways to help people versus sitting in a clinic um, for hours at a time. And speaking of those hours at a time, when you start to look into counseling, and by the way, I am currently enrolled at Liberty University in their human res their human services uh, master's program for counseling with a focus on life coaching. So I'm speaking from personal experience. The information and knowledge I bring you is from my own personal story and journey and experience and not something I heard or made up, okay? This is from like, this is what's out there. Thank you, LD. I appreciate the compliment. So, um, let me go to the page that I just added some notes on for y'all real quick. And let me breeze through. Um, number one, it's the answer to, do I need a degree to become a life coach? And number two, it's the answer to, should I become a coach before I become a counselor? Again, my disclaimer is, you can be whatever you like in life, right? We know that, right? Future Black Life Coach. Oh, okay. So this is to help you to make an educated decision um, to save money in the beginning. I did a live. Y'all just scroll my timeline on Fable where you are saving $17,450. That's the amount I'm paying for my master's degree <laughs> in counseling, human services with a concentration on life coaching. I don't have to. I want to. This degree is for me. My honorary doctorate is for you guys who I show up for year after year. That was as a result of 20 years in the game of serving, 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 okay? Um, and then my bachelor's degree was for my mom. So I 
I'll get my master's degree for me. And it's in life coaching, so it's fun. But guess what, y'all? It really has nothing to do with life coaching. <laughs> and that's because life coaching is more hands-on. That's why I say coaching before counseling. So if you're questioning, should I get a degree in um, life coaching? You don't have to. If you are, you know, on the path to getting your um, degree in counseling, maybe you, you know, you're just thinking about it so you don't know how deep it goes. Because this is what I found out recently. Number one, it takes um, years for you to study things like health and wellness, um, marriage, financial, uh, <coughs> excuse me, leadership. <coughs> Let me get some water. Okay, hold on, y'all. I got to breathe. <laughs> so I know for me, the program that I'm in requires you to learn, like, I guess, like, they're looking at it as every facet of life <coughs> so that you'll know whether you choose counseling or coaching or whatever, which area you would like to focus on specifically. So they give you the option of the health and wellness, marriage, financial counseling, leadership, um, professional counseling and coaching, etc. But if you decide to take it a step further as a counselor, you also have to invest, um, depending on which state you live in, <coughs> excuse me, you have to invest 3,000 hours in that field, which is te technically mental health. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get my breath here. So 3,000 hours, not dollars, but hours, depending on <clears throat> the state you live in, you're going to invest this in um, into becoming a mental health professional. And that's in the counseling side. Coaching is in the mental health space, but we don't help diagnose people. We don't write prescriptions. We don't help treat people. We are not licensed. We're not covered under medical insurance. Um, it's usually an out-of-pocket pay type thing. And it is goal-oriented as far as where you are presently versus where you want to be in the future with a specific life goal. So, for example, if you are a life coach and you chose the area of health and wellness then you would help clients who have a specific health and wellness goal, whether it is to eat right, lose weight, um, even skin care, exercising, um, anything health and wellness, even financial health goes under um, that, that industry sometimes. So that's an area of coaching that is available. I like coaching because it is the quicker, cheaper more expansive route. Let me tell you why. So not only when you look into getting a degree in counseling, you're investing these years. You also have to invest. Um, Y'all remember back in the day when you took a college course, right? And every course was worth about three credits. Well, the particular degree I'm getting, which is covered under counseling and coaching, you have to do 10 classes and each class is three credits. So that's 30 credit hours. Most of y'all don't have 30 credit hours to give. I do a one-day life coach certification training that's only eight hours, and it still takes people more than those eight hours to complete the course. So <laughs> what I did was take that eight hours and break it down and spread it out to give you more time to not only take the class, but also more time to pay for the class. Information is over at blacklifecoachselfstudy.com. Um, whether you're watching live on my Facebook page or if you are in our private Facebook group and you're watching with me on tonight, then um, if you haven't joined us yet, again, blacklifecoachselfstudy.com is the place to be to sign up for the quicker version of <laughs> becoming a certified life coach. Now, again, if you don't have the 30 credit hours to invest in an actual degree or the $17,450 that I'll be investing um, then yeah, check out blacklifecoachselfstudy.com because a degree in counseling also, you have to, um, work with a supervisor for about two years 
And the last I heard, you also have to pay that supervisor and uh, do monthly supervision for those two years. So someone is watching you work those 3,000 hours or however it is, depending on the state you live in, as you become a counselor or more involved in getting licensed as a counselor in that uh, mental health profession. Plus the 30 credit hours, plus the $17,450. Y'all see where I'm going with this? So you got eight hours <clears throat> that's been spread out to become a coach over at blacklifecoachselfstudy.com. Or you can take the route that we're talking about with becoming a counselor. 30 credit hours, $17,450, 3,000 hours in the field, depending on what state you live in as you become a mental health professional, paying a supervisor and doing monthly supervision for at least two years, again, depending on your state. Hey, Coach Lee. <clears throat> so if you've been questioning, should I become a counselor? You can. You also can become a coach before you become a counselor. Now, becoming a counselor also requires between one to three years or 15 to 20 months. Again, I'm telling you the evidence that I've uncovered recently. And along with that, as you know, with any classes that you take, there are things like GPAs that are required in addition to those credit hours. Um, there's testing required with your GRE. Um, and then your licensing, no matter, you know, all of this that you've gone through, paying the money, investing the time, taking the test, no matter the investment you've made in the counseling space, you can always be at risk for losing your licensing or having those licenses restricted by state guidelines and that can mean two things number one you do something that breaks the rules you can your license can be restricted revoked taken away if your client moves away that's why i say depending on what state you live in these are you know you have state guidelines but if your client moves outside of your state you don't have jurisdiction in another state as their counselor so this became apparent when a lady from Texas gave me a call and she's like, Dr. AJ, I'm a counselor. However, when my clients move away, I can no longer serve them and I want to become a coach to add that to my resume to say, while I can't counsel you in the other state, I can coach you. So it makes a lot of sense if a counselor has started working with the client, they've gotten some breakthroughs and then eventually the client has to move away for whatever reason, the coach can say, okay, I know we made a lot of progress um, counseling, now let me coach you based on where you want to go since our progress as a counselor so she can wear two hats. And I've had multiple calls like this um, and people have showed up live here with me on Facebook Live saying, you know, I'm in school for counseling or I'm in school for social work um, or I'm a master social worker. I'm trying to become a licensed social worker. Um, and they're like, where do I stand? Where could I stand? Where should I stand as a coach? As I go through this long process of becoming a counselor, et cetera. And so counseling too is restrictive as far as I haven't really seen, and I don't know everybody in the counseling space, but the titles that come up the most frequent for counselors are mental health counselors, marriage and family therapists, vocational rehab, school counselors, and substance abuse counseling. There may be other like trauma counseling um, or counselors that deal specifically with certain disorders. But for me and why I'm really thankful that I did not continue down the psychology path, even though I'm still getting my degree in counseling, is that coaching is much more expansive and you have the freedom to add to that. So with me getting this degree, I'm already a life coach. I already know what I can do. I'm just there for the piece of paper, okay, for the degree. And it's fun. It looks fun. So, and this is a Christian university. So that's how I know a lot of this too, because they educated me so well as to what the degree covers. And they're also in their fine print, like, listen, we know you have the title doctor in front of your name. We know you have your bachelor's already. You're simply coming to us for your master's. However, this degree does not license you or anyone else to counsel. So even though I'm paying $17,450, going through 30 credit hours, learning about marriage, 
um, counts our uh, marriage coaching, leadership and professional life coaching, financial coaching, health and wellness coaching, which none of those I'm interested in coaching around, by the way, but it's a part of the degree requirements of those 30 credit hours. Um, and it takes about a year, year and a half to complete this degree, but I'm going to take longer than that because I'm only taking one class at a time and I'm going to work my way through it because I'm there to really absorb this information so that I can come and pour back into you guys. Who asked the question, should I become a counselor? Should I become a coach? Should I do coaching before counseling? So this title can go two ways as well. Coaching before counseling, meaning you can get certified as a coach before you get your degree in counseling. But also on the flip side, if you have um, clients who ask you that question, do you think I need coaching? Do you think I need counseling? It depends on where your client is, of course, but you can also make the suggestion, let's try coaching before counseling and then make that decision together. So I'm happy to share what I know, what I've learned through my research. And so far, that's what I got. Um, the things that come with a counseling degree. And as I mentioned, a lot of people who are just starting out on this journey, you just know you have that call in your heart and you really do want to help people. And you're thinking maybe I should become a counselor, but maybe you haven't really dug into the degree specifics um, and recs that I have recently, this just happened in like the last week or so that I came upon this knowledge. And I was like, I really want to share it with my community of coaches uh, who are future black life coaches who are considering coming on board, getting their life coach certification. And they don't want to be held up waiting years and years and hours and hours and thousands upon tens of thousands of dollars, whether it's scholarships, student loan debt, or out of your pocket. They still want to help people. They still want to serve. You can do both. And I recommend coaching before counseling. Hence the title of tonight. So with that said, are there any questions about anything that I've shared tonight? Um, again, my job in this Black Life Coach space is to bring the educational component that's missing. You don't see a lot. You definitely don't see a lot of Black Life Coach certification trainers at the master level that I'm at. You don't see a lot of us who have invested years in mastering the life coach certification process. And you definitely don't see anybody but me. Show me somebody else that's actually getting the degree, bringing the knowledge back to you from personal experience in both the counseling and the coaching space and putting a Christian approach to it and then certifying women based on all of that knowledge. And it's not theory, it's not made up, but it's lived. So it's honest experience. Hey, Coach Alexis. So that's really all I have, you guys. Um, I have had a self-care day today. Went to the spa. It was really good. Um, then went right next door to the chiropractor. It was really good. <laughs> Got me some food. Oh, I made a Target run. I had some espresso. They have a uh, Starbucks in our Target. Um, I was hype a little bit earlier. And uh, here we are. <laughs> Still laundry day in the Austin household. And I'm just chillaxing for the rest of the day. So I definitely wanted to hop on and chat with you guys. So what comments or questions do you have? No matter what point of the broadcast you came in on, do you have anything to add to the discussion any takeaways or aha moments, any questions before I go? I think I'm going to give up on Clubhouse eventually. I have tried and tried. I don't know if my people are on Clubhouse. We're still live there. There's nobody there right now. People have popped off and on. But I like y'all better, Facebook. So thank y'all for showing up. I like y'all because y'all show up and you engage. You ask questions. You say hello. You talk to me. <laughs> you leave comments. So I'm going to go ahead and sound, sign out of Clubhouse and just leave it at that and be okay with where I am on Facebook. So we have our Facebook group uh, that's going. And for those of you who liked what I've been bringing lately, because my lives, for me, I feel like it's getting deeper and deeper in this space. And I'm covering stuff that I've never heard covered before, especially from a black woman of faith. Um, and so that's why I opened up the opportunity over at blacklifecoachselfstudy.com for you to come study with us to learn more about this space, 
from a black woman Christian perspective. We're a minority of a minority of a minority of a minority. We're black, we're women, we're Christian, and we're entrepreneurs. So we need all the support and accountability and help in this space we can get. Hey, Coach Raquel, future black life coach. Lee says yes. Coach Lee says yes on the self-care day. Good for you. Yes. So uh, a couple days ago, I went and got a facial. Um, and I felt my skin was very refreshed. Like she gave me a mirror at the end. I was like, I am beautiful. <laughs> my skin was shining and moisturized. So, and then I went to the health food store and got some, um, I'm trying this new oil. It's in the other room, but, um, it's, it's a mixture of all these moisturizing oils that go with my new, uh, black, uh, soap, raw black soap. I love using that on my skin. So they make an oil that goes with the soap. And I've just been walking around smelling like an apothecary, just like a black one. Because, you know, one of those stores, you just walk in and you be like, you smell everything. Incense and just get your whole health life together, right? <laughs> so my health and wellness journey is from a personal standpoint. I don't really coach around it or teach around it unless someone asks. But it's a lot of fun for me trying out stuff that adds to my self-care journey. Because did you know... That self-care is literally the foundation of life coaching. There's a book, if you go Google it or go to, um, yeah, Google it. It's a book by uh, Thomas J. Leonard, who is the founder or the father of life coaching. He is like credited for inventing this industry. And my mentor and the man who certified me trained with Thomas J. Leonard. And Thomas wrote a book, um, it's the 28 something. It's like 28 self-care practices or something. But he was very, very strict. And we still, as trainers, abide by a strict code of self-care. Like, you had to pass a self-care test to become a trainer, to be one of his trainers. Like, it's a whole list of things. I think it was 200 things on that list or something like that. I've shared it before in some past lives. But... I take my self-care very seriously. Um, Thomas passed away at 47 years old. He was a good-looking white man, y'all. You can find pictures of him on Google. My mom passed at 47 years old. So I take my health care and self-care very seriously. Um, and so that's why I share, you know, bits and pieces when I'm live here with you guys. So when you say things like, you look good, Dr. AJ, or yes, yeah, self-care, thank you, girl, because you're confirming, you know, <laughs> what I'm already doing. So I think my dryer has stopped, which means I need to go switch out the clothes because I'm washing uh, my bed stuff. And I want to make sure I got some smell good, warm, clean, fluffy sheets and comforters tonight. So I'm going to wrap this up pretty soon unless you guys have any questions. If not, I want to extend the invitation to those of you who are not one of our coaches. Um, we have several coaches on here tonight. We also have some of our future Black Life coaches that are in our Facebook group here. If you want to become a future Black Life Coach, head over to blacklifecoachselfstudy.com. Join the crew and let's learn together in this movement and ministry we're calling life coaching. Any final words, coaches, or are or our hearts and minds clear on tonight? I just started a new subscription with uh, Showtime. And I'm about to go catch up on The Shy. I heard it was really good. Um, I got into it so far, so I'm going to try to stick it out. It's 40 episodes, and I'm a binge watcher. So if y'all don't hear from me or see me for a minute, I'm probably sitting in front of the TV catching up on The Shy. <laughs> Looks like a good show. It is a movement, Coach Alexis. Coach Alexis, uh, no, I'm not going to ask you to do it because you always go. You always raise your hand to go. We have a coach. So this is for any coach other than Coach Alexis. I'm letting y'all hook with this one. Any of my certified life coaches or any of you who are in 10 for 10, Raquel, um, <laughs> or Coach Lillian, you could do this too. But you're not in our Facebook group. Let me know if you would be interested in this, Coach Lillian. Because um, you trained with me back in the day, so you were OG, OG. There is a coach that is one coaching session away from getting her life coach certification. And she needs you guys, ladies of legacy. These are my certified coaches. These are those of you who are in 10 for 10. Her name is Andrea Harris. She's posted in the group twice. I've told her to reach out to some of you guys. So please take a moment to reach out to her in the ICLCT Facebook group. 
volunteer to go. Let's help her, right, Coach Alexis? <laughs> you don't have to, because I know everybody, I don't know why, Coach Alexis, but everybody attracts to you. They're like, they come to me and they say, Dr. AJ, who should I ask to do my coaching session with? Tell me. And I'm like, nope. And it just never fails. They end up reaching out to you. And uh, Carla was the last one that did that. She wanted somebody that was in her same state. So, and it worked out. She found you. I didn't even tell her who to go. So I'm letting you off the hook because they. I feel like they always reach out. You always come through. So thank you for that. Um, but yes, let's help Andrea. I think Andrea is here in Georgia with me. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, where you are around the world. As you know, coaching is global. But let's help our sis be the next one to graduate within the next few days. She's done everything, you guys. And so I feel so bad for her because she's like, I've tried, you know. <laughs> so she is looking for her coaching critiquer. So y'all help her out. I'm putting that on y'all. I'm not carrying that burden. I did that for years with y'all. I don't do that no more. I just sit back and wait. But what I love about this process is that it's helping you guys to know what it's like to have to look for clients and get them to show up to the session and follow up and check in and home. Child, it's a lot. But we all have guidance. And I'm so excited that we have that community of support for our coaches. Um, and I love that y'all get to get coached for free. So y'all better raise your hand for that session, okay? I didn't mean to come on here and lecture, but I did want to help her find her coaching buddies so that she can get uh, certified within the next few days. My heart and mind is clear. I take it y'all's are too. Again, future, uh, what, what are we at? BlackLifeCoachSelfStudy.com <laughs> is where we are. For those of you who want to come join us in the 10 for 10 program, where you take your time, go through the Life Coach Certification Self-Study training over a 10-month period. Take your time, pay the program off over a 10-month period, and still get your Life Coach Certification training, uh, your certification certificate before you could even get a degree as a counselor. So I'll keep y'all updated on my educational journey. The folks at Liberty are phenomenal. Um, so I just have to sit and uh, do what they're asking me to do. I'd be like, I don't want to, you know. So Raquel, thank you for volunteering. Reach out. Her name is Andrea Harris. She's in the Facebook group. Um, reach out to her like expeditiously. Ain't that what T.I. say? I'm going to go because I'm sleepy. All right, y'all. So thank you again, Future Black Life Coach Raquel. And you'll get a sneak peek at what's coming up for you. So girl, you better pay it forward because what goes around comes around. So that's why I give y'all a chance to, to do that in the community because you're always going to um, need somebody to lean on. Okay. Somebody. To lean. Coach Alexis says, coaching before counseling. Did I miss something? Yes. Yeah, so go watch the replay. We talked about coaching before counseling on both aspects meaning you can get certified as a life coach. Let me do a recap for you, Coach Alexis. This is for you because you're so special to me. So this is what we talked about. We talked about, this is like part two of a live I did earlier. I got my little book here, a little journal that says winging it, and it has a flamingo. <laughs> I found this at the outlet mall I went to with my best friend. I always find journals when we go to the outlet mall. So it was really cute, and it was on sale. So in my winging it journal... <laughs> I wrote down what it takes to become a counselor. And that includes years of um, going through school to get all of those credits. They limit you to certain, it's like five top categories of like um, counseling that you can specialize in. You have to, of course, take the GRE. Um, your, like with the degree I'm getting with Liberty University, my master's in human services counseling and coaching, you're still not licensed as a counselor. Um, depending on your state and depending on what area of the field you choose as a counselor, um, in that mental health professional space, you have to hire a, a supervisor, pay a supervisor, do monthly supervision for two years and get 3,000 hours in that field. So coaching before counseling as it relates to tonight's episode broadcast live is all about um, how easy it is to get your certification, as you know, Coach Alexis from Texas, and how you can still become a counselor too, but it's easier and cheaper to become a coach before you become a counselor. So that's all I got, y'all. That's all I got. I brought home a large Papa John's pizza. 
I love when it's fresh out the oven because it melts in your mouth. So I already had that part of it. That'll be lunch or either lunch tomorrow, either late night snack tonight because I'm super full. But I just had to let y'all know that's what I'm having for dinner. All veggie, of course. But that sauce, though, that sauce hit different when that piece of fresh out the oven. I'm just saying that's what we have for dinner. And that's all I got, y'all. She says, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm only lacking taking state tests for LPC. Yep. So the hours, the cost. I did a live recently where it is $17,450 to get a degree. And so I'm saving you. <laughs> um, no, it's actually $18,450, but I'm saving you $1,000 because the program, the One Day Life Coach Certification Program is only $999 now. And so you can pay that before you can pay $18,000 unless you just got it like that, you know. And if you got it, you got it. You can do both. You can do coaching before counseling. Do them together. It's an option, but I'm just here to drop the, the educational component. All right, guys. So blacklifecoachselfstudy.com is where to go if you're not in our program yet. We are, I told my friend the other day, we're a Christian gang. I was like, we only let certain people in and we do not play about ours, okay? So head over to blacklifecoachselfstudy.com if you want to get initiated into the Christian game. I'm just playing. Let me stop because the internet, y'all don't take stuff as jokes no more. So anyway, I will leave you with this. She says, that's good of me to think about becoming a life coach. Do it. Join it. Okay, let me slow down. Coach Alexis says, have a good evening. And listen, if you're thinking about becoming a life coach, do it. Join this amazing movement and be a blessing to help champion someone to their next. Thank you, Coach Alexis. You always give such great testimonials. I appreciate you. We are a gang, Raquel. Hurry up so we can jump you in. On this note, <laughs> I will leave you with this. Remember, there's someone somewhere. They're waiting on you, future Black Life Coaches, to walk into your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because it's when you let your own light shine, you give others permission to do the same. As a future Black Life Coach, when you impact just one life, you impact generation y'all ready gang gang let's go <laughs> i have no idea what i'm talking about so for gang members watching this i am lame i'm from the country and i'm just playing all right i'll see y'all soon black life coach self study.com coach raquel go reach out to coach andrea harris in the facebook group see y'all soon have a phenomenal rest of your day god bless bye y'all <laughs>